Hello, today I'll show you how to easily set up light probes for your scene. Here we have a simple scene with colored walls and a 100% reflective object. As you can see, there's nothing reflecting on it. Let's change this. First of all, we add a reflection cube map light probe to the scene and place it in the middle of the room. I change its type to box so that it better fits the room. We need to set its size as close to the rooms as possible. Since Verge 3D does not support the falloff settings, I'll set it to zero for maximum consistency between Blender and the engine. We also need to tweak clipping a little bit so that it does not cut any important objects at the final render. When all is done, let's go to Render, then to Indirect Lighting and click the Bake Cube Map Only button. Now the monkey reflects the room. To see the baked cube map, click on the eye icon near the cube map size setting. As you can see, the monkey itself was baked to the cube map. As a result, the monkey reflects itself, which is not right. Let's fix this. First of all, we should put the monkey to a new collection which we also name monkey. Then, we'll go to the light probe preferences, and in the visibility collection drop down menu choose the collection we just created. To exclude from rendering everything except the monkey collection, click on the icon with arrows near the visibility collection drop-down menu. Now if we click on the bake cube map button, we can see that there's no monkey in the cube map anymore. Finally, I'd like to exclude the room's walls from influencing the cube map. Let's put the room walls to a new collection that we name room. In the cube map reflection light probe, go to custom influence and choose our new collection. Also we need to activate the icon with arrows to include everything to the cube map, except this collection. To check how custom influence works in Verge 3D, we can export the scene to the engine. As we might expect, there's no reflection on the walls and the floor only on monkey. Now, let's add reflections to the floor by using a light probe for planar reflections. First of all, we should split the floor to an separate object name it floor. Then we want to remove all unused materials from it. Also let's remove the floor material from the walls. Finally, let's add a reflection plane light probe to the middle of the floor. To make it work properly, we place it somewhat above the floor surface. Now we can see that the monkey is reflected on the floor surface. Let's export the scene to the engine. Yes, we can see that the walls and the monkey are correctly reflected. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you later.